So I've got this solar powered water pump here and we're at a time of year when it's not really rained much still because we've had a really dry summer and there's not quite enough sun to get this spinning anymore. So I came up with a bit of an idea of trying to get this running off a bike battery because a bike battery is 36 volts and that needs 36 volts which is obviously a bit of a weird voltage if it was 12 volts no problem but got it working now it's designed to be plugged into the solar panels and then directly off the sun's juice but what i've done is just taken the cap off the last connector to get to the actual motor and as you can see i've crocodile clipped on positive and a negative to the positive and the negative and then i've rammed a couple of little bits of metal in the uh little positive negative slots on there which correspond to about the same size bits of metal as these pins here which actually power the bike and i'll just show you it working some sparking but we have water pumping again got a little bit of splashing so i'm not going to leave this running proof of concept though and i just thought i'd show this for anyone else that's using a solar pump you can run it off a bike battery just brought down a plastic bag to house the battery in for now As you can see i've made the crocodile clip connection on that end a tiny bit better and i'm just going to attempt to sellotape over some of these holes in this flexible pipe stop it spraying this way as much and then i'll leave it pumping until that battery dies okay mission success we are pumping water 300 meters and that tank's two and a half meters and it's approximately three three and a half meters up from the river so almost seven meters in height and 300 meters of pipe being pumped by that battery so i'd say mission success pretty soon i'm going to be building a big rainwater system here so being able to use that pump off the e-bike battery is going to be useful for pumping water from here into this main tank too I'm basically currently missing a massive opportunity to harvest all the water I need and hopefully next year I won't actually need to be pumping from the river because as you can see the house I built there I have got huge volume of water I can capture off that as well as numerous other buildings around the farm I've got a big polytunnel that's got a water capture gutter system on it already that I used to harvest the water for for chickens but the tank degraded so replace the tank on that and should mean that I really only need that water supply from the river using the pump all the way down there on solar power next year if I'm going to be doing market garden stuff because we need sprinklers and all that sort of stuff and when do you need those when it's really sunny so it works out nice but it is nice ticking off another easily accessible way to me to get water to my tank basically now or to just get water in general because backups upon backups is what I like to do that's why I've got the well that's why I've got the pump from the river and it's why I have now be setting up the water capture system for all the rain again because you need water on a farm and we will need lots of it if we're going to have summers like this going forward good having the well but as you can see it's still extremely low when we've had weather like this so being able to pump all sorts of water and go through our special water filter film water freedom has made it a hell of a lot easier and like i say that water pump from the river has been filling this tank all summer and now it can keep filling it even right through the winter and hopefully we'll be able to fill from our water tank there too now what I might do next with it though is design some sort of little plug-in that I can directly plug into the cabling of the bike motor to be able to power the pump. So I can do a bit of pedalling as well to assist in battery power should the case be because backups upon backups is why I came up with this idea of using the e-bike battery in the first place. I did do a little bit of asking from the manufacturers before I went ahead and did this and they said it's possible to do it but it does void the warranty if you start messing with stuff like that. I'm assuming me just plugging stuff into the end like that that's 36 volts isn't going to void the warranty and if anyone else has got one of these I would assume it would be the same but always worth an ask if you plan on doing it yourself but it works anyway and now I can pump water from the river in the winter time up until we get good rains again little side note as well I guess that this pump has been crucial this summer because it's been so dry I've been managing to keep everything watered keep the fish uh, pond full keep the irrigation for the veg and stuff all going because of this thing if it wasn't for this we would have been a bit scuppered this summer and would have had to carry in water via totes and stuff like that so it saved me a hell of a lot of labor this summer in to and fro and fetching water from somewhere else so yeah would highly recommend the future pump from future pump very simple comes with lots of bits to replace anything should needs be but this has been running six seven months now no problem at all and zero issues with it so far
The only problem is if the sun goes in, but I have solved that problem now. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. Till next time, bye-bye.